Hi and welcome. Welcome to this week's Monday Angel Message. I'm back and after a week of rest and all kinds of insights and awakenings and shifts and and all kinds of things going on, I'm really glad that um, I was able to take that time. That's one of the bonuses of having your own business, of course. So here I am today with some messages for you about the energy this week, messages from your angels. I get a lot of my messages like downloads um, as if um, someone's talking to me or I see somebody in front of me giving me the information or um, it just, it's like, you've got to write this down now and it, it comes through. So I will talk to you a little bit about that before I pull the card. I promise I won't take too much of your time up today. So how are we all feeling? We've just been through some massive, massive changes. The, um, you know, there was a new moon that was intense. There was, it was a super moon. We had the eclipse. Then we had the um, lion's gate. But it doesn't matter what we call it all and um, what the planets are doing. It's what's happening in here that is most important. And, you know, you can say, oh, my, my computer broke because of Mercury retrograde or my energy doesn't feel right today because of the new moon. But ultimately, it's about what's in here, what's going on for you, the ascension that you're going through, the, the way that you're evolving, the way that you are coming up into um, facing things that maybe no longer work for you, people that are, are bringing your energy down, that are putting mud on your wings. Oh, hi, everybody. You've just all appeared. I thought I was talking to myself there for a bit. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Tina. Hi, Anne and Joe and Cassandra. So as I was saying, all of these energy shifts are to do with you, you personally, what's going on inside and what you see coming up. And sometimes, say, the, the new moon or the, the lion's gate, those are auspicious times where the energy is just going to be more turned up so that you get to see, so that you get to have the breakthrough, so that you get to finally recognize the person that might be undermining you or the opportunity that's coming up. Because we mustn't always talk about things on the outside attacking us because they are ultimately a reflection of something that we need to understand, change and learn on the inside, right? So we always must take responsibility. If you go in for that kind of victim mentality, um, if you go into that feeling of you're always being attacked by outsiders, then that is going to make you feel defeated. It's going to make you feel like you're battling with life rather than remembering where your power is. So these changes of energy that so many people are going through right now, one of the important things, and the angels are talking to me, I've made a, a little list of things to talk to you about, but they're actually talking to me as I'm talking to you. One of the things they want you to remember and to know is that you are your own guru, right? So whilst healers and teachers and friends and people can often be an amazing channel for you, right? So they can bring through the information, they can hold space, and that's really important, that until you actually get it, and take the action that you need to take, then often you can have, you know, the, the highest gurus in the world, you could be paying thousands of dollars, but you won't absorb it. And one of the actions that the angels want you to take so that you get these messages, whether they're from directly to you, from God and the angels, or whether they come through someone else, which is just as valid, just as valid, that... Um, you need to meditate. You need to, to sit in meditation, even if it feels like all you're doing is listening to your brain give you shopping lists or it feels as if you're constantly fidgeting. And know that that's just your ego trying to stop you from connecting because your ego believes in aloneness, separation, um, not good enoughness, being um, imperfect. It, it doesn't want you it doesn't even know about connection so when you sit down it doesn't it, it has no longer got control over you and so the longer that you you persist even if you do 10 minutes a day and you do it over six weeks and you don't get a breakthrough for that six weeks that's fine you will get a breakthrough before that but the angels want you to do that because that's the first step in opening the gateway 
for the messages to come to you because what you're saying is okay I trust it it's coming for me I, I'm not alone in this and that's a big statement to the universe that's a big statement of consciousness and faith so this change of energy that is coming through um, thanks for everyone for joining the first thing they want you to know is that we've been through like a big reset and this reset is 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 still continuing so it's like your um, your phone line say say when they're working on your um, your mobile phone towers around you and then you sort of sometimes you don't get messages come through or you only get half the message so that's the kind of thing that's been going on at the moment that we have been going through this reset inside of us and energetically and that means sometimes we're going to be feeling disconnected from our source we're going to be feeling disconnected from the source of guidance intuition energy vitality and when you feel like that when you feel off unwell depressed sad anxious um that means that you've just you have just you've lost connection that's all it means it doesn't mean that it's gone away it doesn't mean that you can't get it back it just means that there's this energy going on I'm noticing a lot of light workers at the moment famous ones as well as um, usual everyday ones are being sort of um, going through some kind of un feeling unwell or um, dropping out for a while because it's all about this reset so you have to be conscious that you need continually to reconnect to source you need to see God, the divine presence, universe, whatever your name is, as a huge, endless lake of energy, power, love, wisdom, healing for you. And you have to connect into that. You can't do it all by yourself, right? You're meant to be connected with that. Otherwise, if you're not connected to that, all that's playing in your head is ego, fear. Um, and that then starts to take control and when it starts to take control you believe it and when you believe it your thoughts create your reality so if you believe that you're cursed that everyone is against you that bad things are happening that you're never going to be happy wealthy loved then that becomes the truth for you because that's the way our energetic atmosphere the universe that we live in works so when I put um, positive posts up on Facebook or Instagram and people write, oh, I hope so, that always kind of makes me go, because the hope so is a lack of faith because you've taken time to write, I hope so. That means you're actually processing that thought. And so, yes, it's hope is good, but when people say, I usually feel that their vibration is, is lower than that and they're not really believing in it. So what we believe is what we create over and over and over again. And yes, outside influences can be like mud on your wings, to quote, um, I was listening to Oprah the other day, and she talked about this, how certain relationships, certain environments that you find you, yourself in, is that you're trying to fly, but the energy is putting mud on your wings. And you have to take responsibility for that and say, okay, what do I have to do? I have to clean my wings. But I also have to keep them clean, meditation, constantly connecting to source, um, keeping your affirmations and mantras up. But also maybe it's time for me to move away from these mudslingers and get into a different environment, a different energy. Maybe it's time for me to say goodbye to that particular energy. And because otherwise, then what happens, the mud is just lower energy and it just starts to bring you into that lower frequency. So it's, there's interference on the line at the moment. There's resetting, there's realignment, there's mixed messages. Are you getting them from your ego? Are you getting them from other people's egos? Are you getting them from old patterns and old fears that have gained energy somehow um, and are taking over your mind? And are you, are you imbued or bathed in fear? by the for either other people so if you're a person that is empathic and you work with other people or you constantly listen to people or you're, you're good at listening to problems and sorting them out you have to constantly clean your wings not because those people are purposefully trying to bring you down but you have to be conscious of that there is some of that person's energy in your aura or many people's energy in your aura 
and that will start to eat away at your energetic immunity. And when your energetic immunity is down, your prosperity goes down because you're not a light magnetizing to yourself. Your self-belief, your self-worth, all of those things will start to drop. So you have to be really get back onto your spiritual path. You have to get into a really good spiritual practice. And um, there's plenty of, um, of <laughs> I was just about to say, there's plenty of um, items on my website that can help you with that. At the moment, my website went down over the weekend and I just heard before I started this live that it was because I had so much traffic. So they're at the moment they're um, working on it in the background, they're bringing it back up and they are, um, creating more bandwidth so that more people can visit it. I was un my hosts underestimated the traffic I get, how that? So that's good news for me, but also if you're a person that has um, bought something over the weekend, then it'll just take maybe a day or two for you to be able to get back to being able to download and save those things again. But see, a reset, a reset for me as well. So connect to source. Reconnect with what you want, not what you don't want. So even if you're thinking, I can't have it, you have to come back to, but I want it. And so if you think you can't have it, then you've got to change your beliefs. And you have to rid yourself of those old patterns of self-sabotage, fear, and low self-belief. Those patterns have to, be, have to be eliminated now because they will, they will work to constantly interfere with your happiness and your well-being and your abundance and your health and your love and your joy. So this is where we are. So yes, Natalie says the circle gets smaller. It certainly does because we need people who are quality, valuable, loving, um, light-filled people around us. And, and there's nothing wrong with people who want to come up um, if they're in that place of wanting to come up. But if they're arguing for their limitations, if they want to stay down and you can't help them, that's really that's really what it is. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do with you today is to just mention that we now all need to reconnect to source because it's like you've on, undergone this this shift and your it's like the line needs clearing and realigning with source. So just let's take a moment together to do that. And the angels are here; they're helping us. We we I already called in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael and Archangel Metatron to help us with this today. And you might feel their presence around you. Usually they stand in a semi a semicircle. Remember the angels can be with more than one person at the same time because they're not physical, they're energetic. So your intention to have their presence will, will make it so. And then I want you to connect in with your heart and take a big deep breath and just expand the um, energy in your heart. So as you breathe in, Imagine a pool of golden light above you and you begin to draw that golden light into your heart and you're filling up your heart with golden energy and you're expanding it outwards. And then take your consciousness up. So there's a channel between your heart and your throat chakra. So I want you to come up from the heart and bring the golden light up to your throat and clear that channel. And then do the same. Breathe and bring it up to your third eye. So you're clearing the channel between heart, throat, third eye, which will help with your intuition. And then you breathe again. It's also gonna help with anxiety. Breathe again and clear the channel between your third eye and your crown chakra. So if you imagine there's a channel down the, the center of your head and then open your crown chakra, imagine it like a, a lotus flower or um, just a, a beautiful semicircle opening on the top of your head. And you'll begin to feel the source energy starting to pump in. And then if you want to, you can consciously connect with the channel between your crown and source. So there's a few little gateways out there, but I haven't got time to go into that now. So I just want you to imagine that golden light cleansing and streaming that channel. And say it aloud or in your mind, I am clear and connected to source. The source, the divine is the source of my good. And then start to feel that golden light streaming, pumping into your energy. I can feel some heat, the angels are helping. 
And what the angels are doing is that they're able to pull away anything that you are doing unconsciously, subconsciously, or is already in your energy that is a block, and then start to send that energy down. And so just for the sake of time, we're going to send it through the bottom three chakras, solar plexus, sacral, and base chakra, and just feel that golden channel go all the way down. And just make the intention that you release anything that's blocking you from source, any fear, any lower energy patterns. Now, you have to be ready to let go of those patterns. You can't just say, all right, this light's going to fix me. You have to be willing to let go of whatever it is. And so sometimes we freak out when we put up those prayers because then things will show up that are the source of those blocks. So it might be a way that you're thinking. It just keeps coming up and someone might say to you, oh, that's a bit negative or that's a bit low vibe. Or some someone in your life might throw a hand grenade into your relationship, as I like to say, and just kind of go away. And then you can go, okay, well, maybe that was one of the things that I had to let go of. I have to trust that God is on my side. And if it's not meant for me, I let go with love. If it's meant for me, um, then show me how to, how to proceed. And now this golden light, I want you to send it as if it's like a um, shoot of energy that goes down and through your feet into the earth, into the ground underneath your, your building where you are, and down into the center of Mother Earth and take a deep breath. And imagine it like a tree root wrapping itself around a big red rock in the center of the earth. And just say, I am here now, present on earth, and I'm grateful for my life. <sighs> and take a big deep breath. And now what you can do, if you want to, is you can expand that light out and just imagine it filling your whole body and send sending out so that it fills your aura and your body as well. Just make sure that you're grounded, so that you're grounded, protected, and you're connected to source. Ooh. Okay, so I'm pulling you a card, which I dropped on the floor. <laughs> All right. Let's pull another one. Okay, I knew this one was coming. It's so strange. So this one is from the um, Work Your Light deck by... Um, Rebecca Campbell, one of the few decks I can work with at the moment. I'm, I'm not feeling the vibes from some of the older decks. So this is the Pallades, which is um, a star system, which is where um, Reiki is said to come from, dolphins and other sea mammals are said to come from, ancient, ancient wisdom and healing. And this is about channeling and uplifting um, energy. Now look at the image of the light flowing down. So when you hold light... When you meditate, when you bring light, you're not just doing it for you. You're actually bringing light into the planet and into Earth. And, and that has a ripple effect on everything around you. So I know that so many light workers and, and empaths and, and sensitive people are really worried about the planet and really worried about the state of everything. Um, but it's important that whilst we hold that knowledge and the lessons of what we're learning at the moment, that we also hold light and hold a vision that this will heal. And you holding light will create that. So you have to be confident in that. Don't be defeated. Um, so this is about you being able to connect to source. And the card that flew out is a message that has reoccurred for you guys over the last week. You, If you've watched my Facebook and my Instagram account, you will know this message. You are not alone. What are the chances? Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Look at the wings. Look at the light. Look at the angel above. Look at the um, crown chakra. This is um, really powerful. Look at the animals protecting. It's time for you to get on your spiritual path, to, to do, to speak, to walk your talk, to do what you say you believe in. You've got to make it real. That's what manifesting is. So angel blessings, everybody. Um, Cassandra says that she's feeling the reset. Yes. Joe, yes, Jamie, hi Jamie, hi Jenna, hi Lena, hi Anthony, thank you for your call. Um, hi Desley, letting go with grace is one of the most life-changing lessons I've learned, Lucy says, very beautifully put, it certainly changes how my energy feels, it really does, letting go with grace is, is a lovely way to put it too. So good to feel grounded, yeah it is, isn't it? 
Um, I think that might be a lioness on there. And there's been so many, yes, it's either that or a mountain cat, but it's still the cat energy, right? Um, and so many references to lions at the moment. It's, it's, it's unreal. Sending love out to the lions. Cassandra, awesome clearing. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you so much, Cassandra. I thank you all of you for being here, for supporting my um, page and um, for being a part of this. I really appreciate you. Angel blessings. Have a wonderful week ahead. Um, hopefully everything is soon to be fixed with my website. So I am taking bookings again for soul clarity sessions, for energy healing, a little bit like what we've done today, but personalized and um, really seeking out those patterns and, and clearing them for you and connecting you with your angels and spirit. And if there's any questions, just ask. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Patricia. Yay. Yeah, it felt like more than a week I was away. Lots of love. See you next time.